All right, guys, in this video, we will create our first bot that is an AFK bot. So let's see how it's done. Straight into our code editor, we have a folder open. So in this folder, we'll create a Python file called bot.py. Always remember that the Python file should end with a .py extension. So once we have a file ready, we are going to import pyauto.gy as GUI, which stands for graphical user interface. So this module is going to interact with our graphical user interface. We'll import random and time. So once we are done with importing all the modules that we require, we can start working on it. So I'll be using a while loop so that we can iterate this bot till the end of time, till we close it. So I'm setting the while loop to true, which means that this loop will iterate till we close it. I'll be initializing a variable x, which we'll be using as a coordinate, and we will use a random variable, so random, imported from a random module, dot random, since we need an integer and we need it in the range between 50 to 1200. This is the aspect ratio of our screen. We'll do the same for Y. And we'll set the second variable to 600 as it is a Y axis. You're almost done with our code. Now we just have to tell Python auto GUI, that is GUI, to move our mouse to these coordinate directions. So we can do that by GUI dot move to. We need to give it two axes. So that is the X axis and the Y axis and a speed at which the mouse has to move. So we'll give it a 0.5 speed. So once we are done with this, a mouse is ready to move. We need to give it a timer so that the mouse continuously doesn't keep moving, but moves after a certain duration of time. So we will give it three seconds. We can do that using a time module. So we will give it time dot sleep. And we will give it a moment of three seconds. So that's all to this code. Once we are done with this, we can run our code. First, we'll save our code and yeah, we can run our code. As you can see, our mouse is moving to different directions without me using it. So this is all the code does. It's a really simple code. Try it out and let me know where do you use it. That's all for today's video, guys. Join our community by subscribing and stay tuned with our next videos. I've noticed that 90% of y'all haven't subscribed. So subscribe and join our community. Like, share and stay tuned for our next videos.